we might even be going to see this is this is pogies right here on the on the sonar that's how i find them a lot of times and then i flip them 11 feet of water that's close Huh? So we got enough, but I've it's, it's been people have been requesting that watch me to talk about where I'm getting the bogies at. So it's you not gotta always, let it hit the bottom. Uh, yeah, most of the time. Yeah, look, perfect size. We got probably 150 now total. We three casts like that. And uh, those are perfect, perfect size for a big trout or mangrove snapper. I don't know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do mangrove. We got the big rods, but we got our bait. Beautiful bait, huh? Look at that. And look, the well that you put it in. My well has two pumps on it. Uh oh, I gotta close it. <laughs> my well has two pumps on it. Uh, Twelve hundred and eight hundred gallon pump going bringing in salt water and it's got two two inch pipes going out and my water comes in on the side it's circle my well it's around it's, it's round and the water comes in not on the top like old wells it comes in the side so it circle makes it makes a circular action and my pogies last a long time in there and you can't keep them overnight if you do they'll stay alive but you use them the next day and the first time you stick a hook in them they get weak so I catch mine fresh every day. That's the only way to have really, really good bait if, you, if you're using pogies is to catch them fresh every day. But Bayou Rigo, we're right by Sand Dollar, old Sand Dollar, Grand Isle Marina. We're right here. You look for a little flip or you start, they, they stay here a lot in the summer in about 10, 12 feet of water. And if you look at that GPS, if you look at this, you see there's no pogie right here, we're too deep. It's kind of like salt and pepper when you get on a pogie. This is not, there would be no pogie, I wouldn't throw here. So just to give you an idea, it's not that hard to get them, but you gotta work at it. You gotta learn it. Stay tuned. Man, first cast, huh? Look at that hammer. First cast. It was a little bumpy out here. We were thinking about gonna get snapper, but uh we had the state park rocks again right here. The water cleared up a little bit from yesterday. We in about eight feet of water. Stay tuned. We're gonna get ready to get on some crazy action, I believe. We're gonna, we're gonna. That first cast thing is not, not, not gonna hold today. You know what they say about that, huh? I ain't gonna say it. That's a big one. Some hammers, man. We're getting them at the State Park Rocks at uh, probably 16 inches average. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Jay won't do no video. She's catching fish. When she's catching fish, she won't video me, sir. But I just put this 20-inch hammer right here. Let's see. 19, 19 inch hammer. We getting them at the State Park Rocks today, baby. State Park Rocks. I got a boat over here. He moved. We just, I guess we got the right bait. It's all about them pogies, huh, baby? All about the pogies. Ain't got another hammer. Ain't got another hammer. Some fat trout. That's the smallest one yet, and he's still 14. She said she could do this all day. That's what she told me just now. Y'all missed it. Right, baby? You don't have me on tape. <laughs> she said she could do that all day. We're pushing him. I'm about to break some ice yeah. up in a little bit. Just open it a little bit. Oh, I'll do it. Don't worry about it, baby. I'll get it. You hear it? Don't worry about it. I'll get it. State Park, we, we right before the State Park, all these rocks, that, if, if you got the right bait and the right technique, all these rocks in about seven, eight foot of water, they have about, they probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight uh, sets of these rocks that are that are good in seven, eight foot of water. And you get on the, on the, on the end of them like this, on the corner. And uh, I like the, the west corner. They could be in the middle of the rocks. We never fish in the middle. We just fish in this corner. It, the tide's going out right now, going this way. 
and and the, and the fish are in that little eddy right there. The cool thing about fishing with pogies is they kind of warn you. They start vibrating. Jay says she got a little vibrate. They start shaking real fast, like scared, because the trout's looking at them before he eats them. And so he kind of almost warns you to get ready. And then you feel that thump, and you give it a couple seconds and set the hook. Second red fish, pretty red fish too. Second red, and he's got them hammer trout. Good eating shot. Big old trout. Big old trout, baby. I might have to get a net on that thing. You making a splash like a five pounder. What is it? Nope, three, four pounder. Beautiful fish. Biggest one of the day, probably. Yep. That's a hammer, baby. No, get put him in. Put him in. We don't put net on fish like that. This is Tommy V channel, baby. We don't put them on the net. We they gotta be five plus to go in there. <laughs> no, uh uh, they ain't let him go. That's an 18 inch trouble. Our neighbors are hungry, man, and our friend. Man, you know, Jay got her belt on. Look, see what that means? That means we mangrove offshore. and red snapper. We made it offshore. We just took a little ride to 23. This is block Grand Isle 23. And look what we got. It's red snapper weekend time, baby. So we're gonna get our limit on red snapper, hopefully, if God's willing, and we're gonna try to catch some mangroves. Yes. So stay tuned. Uh-oh, they got a, a red fish and I got a red snapper. I got the good one. And Jay got the red fish. We're gonna turn that loose. Woo, man. Fun. Quick action, huh? Fun. Three drops and three fish. There's some quick action right here, man. At 23, I've been telling y'all that. You don't have to go far to get your red snapper limit. Hopefully that's a mangrove, maybe. Jay's fighting. She got that belt. When she gets that belt on, boy, she gets serious. The red snapper. You don't have to go far to get your limit of those. Nice ones, too. They're like 20 inches. I got something on right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, he broke me. Oh, man. <laughs> I was trying to video you and, and uh, something big took me. So we're going to have our snapper in, in, in four drops, right? Our, our limit. And then we're going to try to get some mangroves, get in tight. Stay tuned. This is a dual trip. Take a trout, then snap them. Let me show you all how we're hooking these pogues. A lot of people are asking that. They, they, they don't steal it like this. If you hook them through the head, they steal a lot of time. But you go through the body and they eat the whole body. Show the weight. And we're using a, uh, I think that's a three or two or three ounce weight. Just like a Carolina rig, like you do when you spec fishing. See, with the swivel. And then a 40 pound floral carbon leader. And we're going all the way to the bottom, which is about 60 feet and reel up, crank up three times. Crank up three or four times just to come off the bottom so the weight's not touching the bottom. And then uh, boom, Let's see how fast. Let's see how fast this happens. I'm going to leave mine out of the water. I just got broken off, by, probably by a jack or a shark or something. I wasn't all the way on the bottom. And we got to get in tight, maybe get up current or something, try to get the mangroves, get our bait inside the rig. But right now, we're getting, we need one more for our limit on the red snapper. See, Jay hit the bottom. And then she's coming up three full cranks. And it, it says what it says on there on that counter. Look, she, you missed it. I messed you up. I'm sorry. I was looking at your counter. Yeah, he took you, babe. He took it fast. When that live pogey, it's, it's like maybe I want to go through the head. It's five seconds. Go ahead and reel it up. We're gonna. I messed you up. This is the best uh, fluorocarbon deal that I found at 40 pound test. I'm gonna use this one because it's open, but this is very expensive uh, compared to that one. I found that on Amazon. So. Uh, that's the good stuff for the good price and we, we got a five out uh, circle hook on here let me find one and I'll come back what you got? I'm using that light tackle you know I like to use Zook made this rod specially just like for casting at mangrove uh oh it's another red fish but I just wanted to show you this cool little you know I don't I, 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 I like a bait caster I don't use a spinning reel but that's my little rig for, for mangroves. And uh, if you get a 10 pound on there, it, it's pretty tough, but it's funner than using the heavy, heavy rods. But I just wanted to show y'all that, that Zook rod. Red, white, and blue, a little heavier than my spec rod. We love our Zook rods. Jay just caught another 
red snapper so that's you know we, we have to throw it back so we're gonna leave it a little bit one thing you got to deal with if you, if you come to this close-in rig you got to deal with some trash fish you got red fish this is our first jack but he wear you out look after you get one of these you want to go home <laughs> but i'm just amazed at that zook rod that zook rod that's look unbelievable it took a strong 57 year old man who worked that light tackle on this big sucker look at that he would win a rodeo. That's a giant. That's a big Jack Cordell. That's the longest one I ever saw. <laughs> you sound like that. That's, I mean, Lee. Like Lee. <laughs> That's the biggest one I ever seen. So if you want to get your limit this weekend, uh, on the weekends, those fish are all 20 inches that we got, the red snapper, but you got to deal with the trap. But it's close. Look, you can see the bridge from here. That's how close we are. So 23. This is 20. They got two or three of them around here. You got to get away from the rig a little bit to get the red snapper. The red snapper a little bit further out. The mangroves are close in. Today we didn't have any luck. And they're on the very bottom. You hit the bottom and crank up a couple cranks with live bait. You're going to get all the red snapper you want. Get, get your limit. Or not all you want. Your limit. It's only two apiece on red snapper. Yeah. So let me get rid of this fish right here. We'll see you next time.